Team 12's Didi Gatton talked with the woman's best friend as she mourns. Family and friends are still coming to terms with Priscilla's death. I'm told that they would talk on the phone almost every day. When she didn't call, they knew something was wrong. She was on my cell phone plan. I talked to her like every other to every third day. Samantha Crea's best friend answered her phone for a couple of days, so Samantha called for a welfare check. It's hard to go in her apartment without missing her. It's hard to go through her things without missing her. It's hard to. It's hard to plan a funeral for your sister. It is. Police found the 49 year old dead inside her unit. The air conditioning not working. The temperature climbing to 113 degrees. Uh, according to the apartment manager, she asked about the air conditioning and all they could tell her was they had to order parts and they were working on it. Priscilla was a veteran that battled PTSD. She also had a heart condition and brain damage that caused seizures, conditions heat triggers. One thing that everyone's asked is, did she have health problems? Yes, she had health problems, but I don't think without the heat problem, she would be dead now. I'm told the AC unit is back and running here at the Santa Fe Apartments. The cause of Priscilla's death is still under investigation. In Tempe, Dee Dee Gatton, 12 News. All right, Dee Dee, thank you. Now to a happy ending for a puppy, the victim of animal abuse. Someone badly mutilated Pistol's ears. Yeah, this has gotten a lot of attention. Now, as Team 12's Ryan Cody shows us, the Pitbull pup has a new family. Right now, there are more dogs in the shelter than good homes for them to live. This is our incredibly busy time of year. Our shelters are full. But Pistol is not your average puppy. Our vets suspect that he probably, um, someone probably tried to crop his ears at home, most likely using a pair of scissors. Finding a loving forever family has been a much easier process than animal control expected. We had a lot of folks who were interested in him. So we did something a little different and asked for people to submit an essay. And we got about 30 submissions, a lot of which were really, really good. But one really stands out. Our essay was a little bit about our family, the two dogs that we have at home. Julie Grant trains dogs for agility competition. Now she is a third member of the team. He definitely needs a home and a good home, and we think that we could definitely provide that. Just a regular dog. Are you pooping again? Who's had a tough couple months. He doesn't have any long-lasting issues from the ordeal. And can finally move on with life. Ryan Cody, 12 News. <laughs> he's cute, but hey. like they said, he's just a regular dog. It's the life of a dog, right? No, it's part of puppy ownership. <laughs> I got a couple... German Shepherds at home, and that's a big part of my life right there. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Well, hey, PETA still has a $5,000 reward out for anyone who knows information about uh, what happened to that little guy. So search is still on for the suspects. Yeah, we'll talk more about that, of course, right here on 12 News. And we got lots to talk about with cards. Yeah, today they finally ramped up the action. The scrimmage, the annual red and right. Welcome back. This is a man breaking into a Phoenix asphalt company and once inside surveillance cameras show him getting a two wheeler and stealing about $25,000 worth of equipment. Police say he hit the place twice. He took off on his bicycle, pulling the two wheeler and the stolen equipment behind. Silent witness is asking for help catching this guy. They're also searching for this man who walked into a Phoenix Circle K went behind the counter grabbing 12 packs of cigarettes and never made the attempt to pay. He just took off. It happened in March at a store on Southern Avenue and 24th Street. A witness got the possible license plate of the gold 1996 Nissan he drove. It's BMX 686.